ಓಗೀಶಾಕ್ಯಾಸ್ತುಮನಸಾಪಕ್ರಮೆ ಯಂ ನಕ್ವಾ ಕೃತಕೃತ್ಯೂತ ನಮಿ ಗಜಾನ ವ್ಯಾಸಮಿಷ್ಟನಪ್ತಾರ ಶಕ್ತೆ ಪೌತ್ರಮಕಲ್ಮಷ ಪರಾಶರಾತ್ಮಜ ವಂದೇ ಶುಕತಪೋನಿಧಿ ವ್ಯಾಸಾ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾಯ ವಿಷ್ಣವೇ ನಮೋ ವೈ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿಧಿಷ್ಟ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಾರಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಯೋಗಿನ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥಾಖ್ಯಮಸ್ಮತ್ತಸ್ವರೂಪಿಣ ಆತ್ಮಲಾಭಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಲಾಭಂ ವಕ್ತ ಕದಚನ ಗೀತಾರ್ಥಗ್ರಂಥಕರ್ತಾರಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರು ಪ್ರಣೋಮ್ಯಹಂ ಯೋಂತ ಪ್ರವಿಶ್ಯ ಮೇ ವಾಚಂ ಧೃತಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓಂ ನಮ ಸಭಾಭ್ಯ ಸಭಾಪತಿಭ್ಯ ಭೋ ನಮಃ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಶಾಲ್ ಬಿ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಅಪಾಂ ನಿಧಿರಧಿಷ್ಠಾನ ಅಪ್ರಮತ್ತ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ವಿಗಿನ್ ಅಪಾಂ ನಿಧಿ ಅಪಾಂ ನಿಧಿ ಟ್ರೆಷರ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ವಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಓಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ದಿ ವೆರಿ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಓಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಎ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಸರಸಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಸಾಗರ ಸರಸಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಸಾಗರ ಇನ್ ಗೀತ ಟೆನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಎಮಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದಿ ಓಷನ್ ಬೃಹದಾರ ಈವನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಎಲಾಬರೇಟ್ ಯಹ ಅಪ್ಸುಷ್ಟ ಮೇ ಅಭ್ಯ ಅಂತರ ಎಂ ಆಪ ನ ವಿಧು ಎಸ್ ಆಪ ಶರೀರ ಯ ಆಪ ಅಂತರೋ ಯಮಯತಿ ಯಶತ ಆತ್ಮ ಅಂತರ್ಯ ಅಮೃತ ದಿ ಅಂತರ್ಯಾಮಿ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ದಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೃಹದಾರಣ್ಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಯಹ ಅಪ್ಸುತಿಷ್ಟ ಹೀ ಹೂ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಭ್ಯ ಅಂತರ ಬಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿತಿನ್ ಇಟ್ ಯಹ ಎಂ ಆಪೋ ನ ವಿಧು ಎಂ ಆಪ ನ ವಿಧು ವಾಟರ್ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ಹಿಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಆಪ ಆಪ ವಾಪ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಎಸ್ ಆಪ ಶರೀರ ಹೂಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಯಹ ಆಪ ಅಂತರೋ ಎಮಯತಿ who controls water from within yaha apah antaro yamayati from within antara yamayati controls that is the internal ruler yesha te atma antaryami amrutaha amrutaha immortal antaryami internal ruler he is the immortal self within you so that is how that is why he is called apam nidhi apam nidhi radhishtanam apam nidhi adhishtanam adhishtanam is a very interesting word substratum base support adhikastam adhishtanam is the extra space without that space you cannot have anything it is the support of everything you may have your own material support for anything but there is an adhishtanam ultimate support because all our misconceptions our delusions our perceptions are all projected only upon something that is real this snake which is a delusion is projected upon the rope that permanent post is called the substratum so the rope is the substratum is the adhishtanam for the snake he is the material cause the lord is the material cause for everything created he is the inner resident 
of all the elements like water just now we saw yaha opposition so it is a, there is a continuity here upon nidhi adishtanam he is the substratum this substratum is brahman it gives the supposed reality to the universe how does the universe appear to be real it appears to be real because it is the adishtanam that is real brahman that is real the reality of brahman is what gives a reality to supposed reality to the universe the universe borrows its reality from the adishtanam because adishtanam carries also the meaning of adhikasthanam it has more status both in time and space adishtanam lasts for more time it it is it has the space it is both in time and in space it has more status than the things superposed on it the rope has more status both in time and space the snake will disappear right away now the universe will return disappear in due course of time that is why the lord says matsan is arvabhuta anim see the entire vedanta is built into many words in vishnu sahasrana that is why if you understand vishnu sahasrana deeply every word the meaning and meditate do nididhyasana with the vishnu sahasrana in your mind one or two words or a few words will click in such a way that you will be permanently realizing the truth matsan is arva bhutani says the lord everything is in me so he is the adhishtanam for everything not only just the universe for everything even in the material universe let us see what happened when the ocean of milk was churned the mountain of mandara as the axis the axis sunk back into the ocean so what happened the lord he manifested as the magnificent kurma he held back the axis of mandara in its position he proved i am the adishtanam i am the aadhar for everything apam nidhir adishtanam so just the word adishtanam can give you a good part of the vedanta apramatha pratishtitah another word apram every today every word is is going to have a profound vedanta meaning apramatha pratishtitah apramatha he has no pramada no slip down no fault no default no pramada that is called apramatha he never commits a mistake in his judgment the lord is the law behind every happening in the universe the results of the actions are always according to the quality of the actions who is administering this law it is the lord he never makes any mistake he is apramatha on the other hand we beings human beings or all full of pramada pramada means slipping down we make the mistake of misunderstanding ourselves the thing that we are the matter equipment around us and due to this pramada we project in ourselves the false concept of an ego but the supreme is ever the pure consciousness therefore he is without any wrong self judgment apramattah in sanat sujatiya the um, rishi sanat sujata talks to dhritarashtra hey pramada is slipping down apramada is immortality that is because the dhritarashtra wants to know what is immortality apramada so apramatta pratishtita pratishtita everything in the world depends upon 
something else as its cause. But all things we perceive and experience in the world, they are all effects. Effects of what? They have their own causes. The effects must necessarily depend upon the cause for their existence. Without the potter there is no pot. Without the clay there is no clay pot. So for the, the clay pot has a cause clay. But the pot itself, the making of the pot, the production of the pot has a cause that is a potter. The Supreme Lord is the one uncaused cause. Uncaused cause. He has no cause. We, he is with reference to him, everything is only an effect. He is the ultimate cause. He is not depending upon anything other than himself. It is a self-established reality. That is what is called Pratishtitaha. He is established in himself. In Chandogya Upanishad, there is a beautiful question, right? <coughs> Sabhagavan Kasmin Pratishtitha Iti Sve Mahimni Sabhagavan Kasmin Pratishtitha Where is he established? What is his support? It is himself, his own glory, his own Mahima Sve Mahimni The Supreme Divinity does not need anything else for its support because there is nothing else nothing else This is what we remember, should you remember there is nothing else other than himself. So he is based on himself. So he is Pratishtitaha. That is why we are asked to enjoy by renouncing the world. In Isha Upanishad, Tena Tena Bunjita. You renounce everything else, then you will go back to that one, one and only, only one substratum, only the self, full of bliss, that is what remains. This is the state of being one who is his own self. He is established in himself, therefore he is Pratishtitaha. Uh, have already begun upon Nidiradishtanam Apramatta Pradishtitaham Skanda Skanda Dharo Dharyo Varado Vayuvahanam Skanda Skanda Dharo Dharyo Skandaha This is the name of the youngest son of Lord Shiva, Subramanya. He is described in Puranas as the commander in chief of the divine righteous army. Senani inamaham skandaha. The Lord says, 11th chapter. Senani inam. Among all commanders in chief, I am the leader. Skandaha. Skanda is also another name for the sage Sanat Kumara. About Sanat Kumara, I just now talked to you. Skanda is also another name. Because Skanda means a wise person. And Chandogya Upanishad. I think in the seventh chapter it says, Mridita Kasha, Mridita Kashaya, Tamasaha, Param, Darshayati Bhagavan, Samat Kumaraha, Tam Skandam Ityachakshate. The Venerable Samat, Samat Kumara showed the other shore of darkness to him, to Narada, who had become freed from all impurities. Samat Kumara showed, took Narada beyond the shores of darkness. So Narada became free from all impurities. Right? They call him, this Sanat Kumara is called Skanda, uh, Chandra Gubanishad says. Tam Skandaha Yityachakshade, seventh chapter of Chandra Gubanishad. So say, Skanda Skanda Daro Dharuyo, Skanda Daraha. Sanda Skanda Dharaha, one who upholds the withering righteousness. What for? The Dharma is falling down, but he uh, takes care of it. He does, in the entire world, um, 
he he also the meaning skanda garaga he fathered lord subramanya shiva so he is in the form of parameshwara there is no difference between vishnu and shiva if you really go according to advaita that is way advaita so you have to be very clear about it you should have no qualms of equating no question of equating there is only one there are no two skanda skanda dharo dhruvyaha dhruvyaha one who carries the responsibilities of creation sustenance and annihilation of the entire world of purity he carries out the functions systematically without any hitch for a long time millenniums have passed without any hitch so he is dhruvyaha skanda skanda dharo dhruvyaha varado vayuva hana varadaha beautiful word vara means best varadaha he gives the best what is you you ask only for the best so that is your wish he gives that wish varadaha excuse me vara means best the mind always seeks the best the lord grants your wish varadaha varam dadati ki varadaha lord brahma once performed a very great sacrifice in a sign that is now known as kanchi pura lord vishnu emerged resplendent from the holy fire and granted brahma's wish what was brahma's wish that he should stay there all the time and grant people's wishes that is why he is varada raja there varada raja the king of all varadas that is the one who grants your wishes the best among such granters right varada raja so skanda skanda dharo dhruvyo varado vayuvahanah vayuvahanah is a difficult word we have to look at it carefully vayu vahana vahana one who controls regulates and moves the great wind vayu the movement of air in the atmosphere that movement has been classified into seven types sapta marut they are called sapta marut the names are interesting avah pravah udvah samvah vivah parivah paravah avah is that po- that facet manifestation of the lord who controls the movement of the air between the earth and the clouds pravah look at the way mythology and our philosophy has classified all these things pravah uh, so don't try to find a correlation between this and science you will find it very difficult science is something else for material observation it has its um, um, pramana a uh, material uh, uh, sense perception only and instruments which help your sense perception that is all that is science but here these are the findings of the rishis by their intuition so they will be all all the time true avaha is the one who controls the movement of air between earth and the clouds pravaha is the one who controls the air between clouds and the sun udvaha is the uh, is the one who controls between the sun and the moon samvaha between the moon and the stars vibaha between the stars and the planets parivaha between the region of the stars paravaha between the planets and the region of the sapta, sapta rishis the great bear it is because of this overall control of vayu of air by the lord that the universe does not collapse it is stationary it is within itself 
the prefixes in the seven names a pra udvah samvah vivah all these things they have meanings if you go to the root vah in each of these names these prefixes is an acronym for the strength and pressure of control needed for that for you the lord is the antaryami yo vayav again go back to brahmaranya commission yo vayav tishtane vayav urantaram yam vayur navede yasya vayuhu shayiram yo vayuhu antaro yamayati yeshata atma antaryami amrutaha who huh? he who inhabits air but is within it whom air does not know yam vayuhu na janati right ya yam vayuhu na veda yasya vayuhu shariram yo vayuhu antaraha emayati yeshata atma antaryam he is the internal ruler he is the antaryami so vayuvaganaham स्कंदस्कंदरो वरदो वायुवाहना वासुदेव बृहदानु आदिदेव पुरंदर वासुदेव वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड्स एम द नेम्स ऑफ द लॉर्ड इन हिंदू फिलॉसफी बहूना जन्मना मंते ज्ञानवान मां प्रपत्यते वासुदेव सर्वमिति समहात्मा सुदुर्लव दिगिता से Only after several several janmas, bahu nam janma nam ante, bahu nam janma nam ante, jnana vangan nam prapadjate. Even the knower, after several janmas, reaches me. He understands at that time. Vasudeva sarvamiti. Everything is Vasudeva. So what does Vasudeva mean? Vas, the root Vas. There are two roots, vas and div. You see, remember Sanskrit nouns or any word. If you go back, analyzing the root word, the there will be a root verb in it. The language starts from verb. Every language starts from the verb. If you know the verbs of that language, you know a lot of that language. You have to know the verb first. It is not enough to know just the names of buildings and lakes and palaces and men and uh, I mean kings and queens. No, no, no. You have to get the verbs. So what it means to dwell. It has several meanings. What it to dwell, to cover, to be the source of, and the root div from which deva is derived means div means. to play to conquer to create to shine to be worshiped to be the lord of now you have to uh, combine these two meanings in several ways so you will get <coughs> several meanings for vasudeva he who dwells in everything he who covers everything isha vasya midam sarvam vas vasi Isha was him. His very dwelling in the hearts of men is his sport. The dwelling comes from the was was it to dwell? And the sport comes from the div. They were his very dwelling in the hearts of men is his sport. He covers everything by his Maya. He is the source of everything. He is the source of all divinities. Was it they were? He is sought after. by all seekers of moksha so many meanings just as birds protect their little ones in their nests by covering them with their wings so also the lord resides in our hearts and protects us by his grace more than that the entire universe is in the stomach of this cosmic form in him resides the universe with all the divines right human beings birds uh animals reptiles divine musicians and asuras 
అంతస్థమ్యస్య విశ్వం సుర నరఖగో భోగి గంధర్వదైత్య ఇన్ విశ్వ సహస్రనామ ఇన్ ది బిగినింగ్ ప్రేయర్ భూపోదౌ యస్య నాభి వేద సుర నిలశ్చంద్ర సూర్యౌ చనేత్రే కర్ణావాశాశిరోద్యో ముఖమపి గగనో యస్య వాస్తోయమే దట్ ఇస్ ది డిస్క్రిప్షన్ ఆఫ్ ది కాస్ కాస్మిక్ ఫార్మ్ అంతస్థమ్యస్య విశ్వం ఇన్ హిస్టమక్ సుర నర సుర డివైన్స్ నర హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్స్ కథ బర్డ్స్ గో అనిమల్స్ భోగి రెప్టైల్స్ గంధర్వ డివైన్ మ్యూజిషియన్స్ దైత్య అసురాహ సుర నర ఖగదో భోగి గంధర్వ దైత్యై సో దట్ ఈస్ మెరక్ చిత్రం ది ఫ్యాక్ట్ దట్ ది ఎంటర్ ఎంటైర్ యూనివర్స్ సో రిసైడ్స్ ఈస్ డ్రమాటికలీ బ్రాట్ ఫార్వర్డ్ in a sto- in the story of the great compassion of lord shiva who placed the dreadful poison that emanated from the churning of the ocean he put that poison in his mouth but still did not swallow it but only kept stif kept it stifled in his heart why he did not want to injure the dim- beings the universe of all beings in his residing in his cosmic stock beautiful shloka from shivananda ragri nalamba paramo upakaram idam pashunam pate pashyan kutchigatan stara acharaganan bahyasthitam rakshitam bahyasthitam rakshitam stara acharaganan for in order to protect the people outside he put it inside him nitchiptam garalam galena dilitam but he he did not Uh, uh, send it down the throat no girna me avadhaya why because there is there is kutchi gatan chara chara ganan bahya sthitan rakshitam kutchi gatan chara chara ganan everything was in his stomach so that is the meaning of this vasudeva everything resides in his stomach in fact the mahabharata shanti parva this vasudeva word is so popular famous and important that every scripture talks about it gives a meaning and so on mahabharata shanti parva chalaya vijagat vishwam bhutva sarvuh surya ivam shubihim sarva bhuta divasascha vasudeva tatas pratagam why is vasudeva known like that he lives in all beings chalayami jagat vishwam he covers the whole world with his rays surya ivam shubhi like the sun by his rays the sun by his rays covers everything so the lord by his grace covers everything sitting in your heart he is resident in all beings so he is called vasudeva here the lord himself is speaking therefore it is the first person i am doing this therefore i am called vasudeva he says chalayami jagat vishwam bhutva surti ivam shubhi sarva bhuta divasascha vasudeva tatas pratagam shanti parva 341 chapter number 341 shloka number 41 the the beauty beauty is he is inside every one of us he is immanent this is the hallmark of hinduism immanence of the lord no other religion has the immanence spelt out so clearly as in hinduism that is why vishnu sahasranamam begins with vishwam vishnu somebody asked me why is it vishwam vishnu accurate is vishnu sahasra so it should start vishnu vishwam vashatkara it did not start like that because vishnu who means transcendence every religion clearly says he is transcendent he is beyond he is there he is not here he is beyond all of us every religion accepts it and every religion believes it that is nothing new the almighty the lord is beyond everything finite this all religion accepts it fundamental but it is the hindu religion that emphasizes focuses the important point immanence he is in you 
you are you are he vishwam he has entered vishu to enter that is why vishwam starts vishwam is the hallmark of hinduism that's one thing is enough you don't have to go beyond just just the word vishwam that is enough that tells you everything about hinduism everything is he he is in everything he is everything we should to enter that entering is not something entering is something else there is only one thing so he is you by immanence so that immanence property is the unique hallmark of hinduism therefore vishnu sahasranamam begins with vishnu vishnu is only the second part about it right <clears throat> so in this case in vasudeva chadayami jagat vishnu sarvabhutaadi vasasya he resides in all and he is everything and he is transcendent he is beyond. both are right there right <coughs> like the sun with his rays udyoga parva again says vasanat sarvabhutanam vasutva devayo nitaham vasudevas tato gnyayah yogi vis tatva darshibih the lord should be spoken as vasudeva this is udyoga parva because he covers all beings vasanat he is the source of all divinities vasutvat vasanat vasutvat vasanat means because he covers all beings by the covering and vasutvat he is being the source of all divinities therefore he is vasudeva yadam vishnu purana also says vishnu purana sarvatra asau samastam yaga vasatyatre eti vai yatah tatasavasudeveti vidvat viparipatyate sarvatra asau samastam vasati the supreme self dwells everywhere sarvatra and in all things tatasavasudeveti then he dwells everywhere and in all things therefore he is vasudeva yagan mushurana at another place says sarvani tatra bhutani vasanti paramatmani bhuteshu ca sarvatma vasudeva tatas prataham the paramatma is called vasudeva because all beings live in him and because he lives in all beings right he lives in all beings and every everything lives in him all beings live in him thus vasudeva has these profound meanings that is why the mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya is supposed to be very important narada taught it to the child five year old child dhruva and dhruva believed in it immediately to it mean that is the uh, spirit of great man ekasanda grahi so he got it om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya twelve letters dwadashakshari mantra he repeated this 12 letter 12 syllable mantra how many times 12 lakhs times how do you know because somewhere it says about all mantras each mantra has a certain number of syllables if you repeat it that you repeat that mantra so many lakhs of times as the number of syllables it contains panchakshari Five, five lakhs. Ashtachari eight lakhs. This Dwadashachari twelve lakhs. If you repeat it twelve lakhs of times with all the concentration that you can command, the divinity that is spoken of in that mantra will be before you. The divinity, the Lord, came before Dhruva. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. That is the beauty there. And you know he. Uh, did his tapas for five and a half months or so 
Do, um, you have to do any arithmetical calculation about how many times he could have uh, repeated it each day and so on and then count and so on. You will reach that figure of 12 lakhs in those five and a half months. You do your own calculation, you make your own approximations. I have done it. So, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevayam. This is why it was recommended to that little boy. Of course, Vasudeva can also mean the son of Vasudeva, Krishna. Vasudeva's son, Krishna. So, Vasudeva has so many of these meanings. So, now we should all believe in that sloka. Bahunam Janmanamante. <coughs> Jnanavan maam prapadyate vasudeva sarvamiti samahatma sudullavagam Om namo bhagavate vasudevaya Now let us go further. Vasudevo brihatbhanuhu Vasudevo brihatbhanuhu Brihatbhanuhu He is possessed of endless rays. Brihatbhanuhu He illumines the world with the rays of the sun and the moon. He whose great rays are in the sun, moon and others, he who illumines the universe through them is called Brihat Bhanu. Adidevaha, original divinity, primary source, first cause. He is the first deity. Adidevaha. Adideva Purandaraha. Purandara, destroyer of cities. Puram, Puram means city. Devanam Pura Yodhya, Tasyagam Hiranmaya Koshaha. So, our, our body itself is a city of nine gates. He is the destroyer of the cities. The, these cities could be the cities of the Asuras or your body. Cities is the well equipped field for gathering experiences. Our body is a well-equipped field for gathering experiences. So the city is also like that. The three cities that we generally move about gathering our experience, the three cities are our waking, our dream, our deep sleep. On transcending these three, the gross, subtle and causal bodies, we can experience the Self. At that moment, these three cities have been destroyed. Purandaraha. The same idea is explained in Shiva Purana also. So he is Maheshwara who performed the destruction of three cities of an Asura. <coughs> Purandaraha. Vasudeva Vrihatva Anuradideva Purandaraha. Ashoka Sarana Saraha Shura Shaure Jane Swaraham Ashokaha No grief, no sorrow. There are six types of grief. What are the six types? Hunger, thirst, displeasure, delusion, old age, and death. He has none of these. They are called Urmis, Shadurmi. He is, has none of these. Ashokaha. Taranaha, <coughs> beautiful word, Taranaha. He helps you cross the ocean of samsara. Tarati means crosses. You remember the story of the boatman Guha. When he took Rama and Sita along the, uh, to the other shore of Ganga, and either Sita or Rama wanted to pay him some compensation, he says, oh, Rama, don't do this. You are ferrying people across the ocean of samsara. I have not done anything. But we are both of the same kind. They are both huh, ferrying people across the ocean. I am taking them like the small ocean. You are taking them beyond the ocean of samsara. Taranaha. He is Tarana. Taraha. He helps you overcome this ocean of samsara. Tesha maham samudharta, says the Bhagavad Gita. I will take them across the ocean. Those who fix on me all their consciousness, 
speedily I will deliver them of the sea of death bound existence. Teshamaham samudharta so tharana sthara shura shaur hijjane shura shura ha the valiant he was able to face and conquer any one thing that was against him. He was always the victor. Shuraha. Shauri is a simple word, son of Shura. Another name for Vasudeva. Vasudeva is name Vasudeva is known as Shura because he belonged to the Shura dynasty. So Krishna is called Shauri. Shura son. Shauri he Janeshwaraha. He is the Lord of all beings that are born. Janeshwara. He activates and monitors everything. As Vasudeva's son, he became the uncrowned king of Dwaraka. Anukulaha. Simple word. Anukulaha. Anukula means helpful. Right? But simple word. See what it what meaning it carries. The Sanskrit here is interesting. Kula means shore, bank of a river. Shore of a river. Anukula means going towards the bank, towards the shore. Right? Someone who is caught in the flood of a river, if he is being led by some savior, Towards the bank, he is Anukula. Anukula. Anu means coordinated. Right? Conforming to Anukula. If on the other hand, if somebody is, when somebody is swimming towards a bank, if he is being led away from the bank by someone, that someone is a Pratikula. He is. Uh, he is an opposite. He, he is a pratikula. The Lord is always an anukula. Anukula, shata, avat. Why is he anukula? He is the antaryami. He is resident inside us. He is, I mean, he, we, we should identify with him and he identifies with us. He is the antaryami. He is the atma. He is the jiva. So because of this, he cannot but be an Anukula and nothing else. He compassionately helps anyone without any thought of reward or anything. He is the only help. But he is that he can help. He does not tom-tom it. For those who have resorted to him, he takes care that they do not cross the shore of dharma. Remember Anukula, it is not a question of helping you to get a seat in the bus or something. No, no. He, whenever you cross the shore of dharma, he prevents. He sees that you stay safe within the banks of dharma. Avyaja karuna He does it without any reason. Avyaja, Karunamurti. He helps you even if you have not asked his help. Therefore, Anukula. Anukula, Shatavartaha. Shatavartaha, he comes again and again to help you. He comes repeatedly, again and again, to save Dharma. But me, he holds the lotus in his hand. The lotus is an indication that he is an Anukula and Shatavartha. He comes again and again to help you. He is always helpful to you because he is new. So that is why the lotus is in one of his four hands. The four hands have conch, chakra, gada and lotus. Four things. Dharma, Jnana, Vairagya, Aishwarya. These are the Sattva Gunas indicated by the lotus in his hand. They are the petals of the lotus. Dharmatya anadhivaryuktam satvam patmamigo chate bhagavatam. 
so many things are explained in various parts of the Itihasas and Puranas that that is why they want you to read all these Itihasas and Puranas and listen to expositions. Dharma jnana divir yuktam sattvam padmam yehochyate. Dharma jnana vairagya aishwarya. These are the four things in his, uh, uh, the petals of the lotus. Padmi, therefore he is Padmi. Padmani vetshanaha. He has eyes comparable to the lotus. Padma Nibetshanaha. They have a cool attraction. Pleasant. Beautiful. Anukula Shata Vartha Padmi Padma Nibetshanaha. Here is a recipe for you. We are all in great dilemma or difficulties all the time. Something or other. Something sometimes small, sometimes big. We need help. We look for help here, there, everywhere. But sometimes we feel a divine help is necessary. In fact, divine help is always necessary. Anukula Shata Vartha Patmi Patmani Bhetra. This line, if you keep repeating, whenever you need his help, not only when you need his help, all the time, his help is always ready for you. You see, this is the kind, the, I mean, emergency number. Anuku Lashyata Vartha Patmi Patmani Bhetsham And that is where we shall end today. We shall continue next time. Sastik Prajabhya Paripala Yantam Nyaye Namarke Namakim Mahisha O Brahmane Bheshuma Mastha Nityam Lokasa Mastha Sukhino Bhavantu Om Tat Satim